Hi guys, it's Amy with Aim to Plan, and I am here with a stack of planners making a decision for 2023. So you probably saw from the card uh, or the title of this video, but I'm here making a plan for my personal lineup, personal planner lineup for 2023. And so I've got these three planners um, and really um, I've got them. I mean, honestly, it's mostly set up. It's really just kind of talking you through the process of like how I arrived at some of these decisions and, you know, like what I'm planning to do. Now, caveat for all of this, um, as you know, if you followed along on my channel for a while, I tend to make decisions month by month. And so even though I'm kind of putting together a plan for 2023 um, and talking about like the next 12 months of what 2023 will look like for me. That is always subject to change. I have plenty of planner supplies, plenty of um, like planner inserts, pages, weekly layouts, all the things that I can use if I decide to change my mind. Um, so this is kind of like what I'm thinking for 2023, but it's always always a work in progress for me. Um, I like to change it up every once in a while just to keep it fresh. And in particular, in my personal planner, things will probably change um like for me like i'm already like leaning into like what my one little word is for 2023 and i'm trying to like i think emphasize like consistency and routine um and so if i could stay in the same system for the entire year that will be like it will be something definitely it's definitely something new for me um but i think that i might be able to do it um just kind of talking you through the system today to like confirm for myself or like really just to kind of like try to understand myself and my own thought process for like how I arrived here and being okay with it right so that's kind of where this goes all right so I'm going to actually start at the very top here uh, these these um, planners I did set up in basically like these I set up over the past couple well I've set all of them up in the past couple of months this one is probably not the most recent setup this is the one that's in the middle um but this one I set up I think probably in September, um, it, I set it up around the same time that the fall release, like planners, like the January start planners, the 12 month planners got released. And the reason I set it up then was, you know, like I always fall into FOMO. I want to be able to like have all the new things and like get a new planner. But I also have so many like old planners that I wanted to like be able to use. And so I set up this planner as part of like that fall release to be able to tell myself that I it's okay for me to use these old planners like I love them and I need to use them and so this setup is a black snap-on cover Th these are like the original like the OG like covers I love these covers um they are like super sturdy to me and I love being able to use them and and have them like be super sturdy um and I have them on like black metal classic size discs right um and so i just love that setup now what's inside here i'm trying to move things out of the way so you can kind of see what i have in here are basically a ton of weekly pages and they're all like dashboard page pages so again like what i did um i think it was around september october around that time whenever fall release was i decided to go ahead and go through my space and pull out all of my outdated dashboard pages um and so what i ended up doing was just getting all of my dashboard pages and committing to redating for the entire year and so these are weekly pages only you will see as i flip through there's no like tabs there's no dividers um and there's like no monthly spread um i actually i can use a monthly spread but it's not like a necessity for me um i actually pretty much use like a future log um from the happy planner or like my digital calendar like google calendar to track like monthly events or like events like from month to month and so the weekly plans are a place for me to like go in here and just write things out and like have it so that way I can see it in my space like my plan is to like like prop it up in a corner so I can see these plans like every day um and so this, this is kind of like just the weekly overview for me um but I did go in the pre in that video where I was redating um, and print out these labels to be able to redate the entire thing. So I've already done it for basically the entire year. Um, and I did sort it out to where like all of the pages that were like the same style, like these are super mom pages you can see here. Um, they, they are like dated together. And then I did go through, you can see here and like started gluing things down. I haven't done that for the entire year, but I've got it where I've redated it for the entire year. And so I start off with like super mom pages and then it goes into like these February pages and that's the last of the super mom. And then here's some like, I think these are modern farmhouse, right? And I've already, you can see here, started writing all of the things in, right? This is gonna be pen to paper. Like my personal planner, 
for 2023, I think it's just going to be like pen to paper, like super functional. I still, oh, I forgot one. I, I need a sticker right there. All right. I'm going to put a little sticky note flag. So I'll remember I need to go back in there and I don't know how I missed that. All right. I'm going to put that right there so I can like add that. But like I just happened to skip it. But like I've already written in the notes. And again, this is meant to be just completely functional. All right. And this is my weekly planner. All right. I'm just going to put all the things in here. Right, and you can see I've basically done it for the entire year. Now, here, going to the back here, it goes all the way until, like I said, December 2023, so December 31st. And then I have like a handful of like old, like some additional dashboard pages. And in fact, I don't need that in here. I'm just going to go ahead and take this out. All right, what I envision this planner to be is the planner where, you know, I'm going to probably attach a pin loop. And I should. I really should do these things like now, but like my space, like I, I'm, I'm at the point where like I have a baby. I can't, I can't wander around like collecting stuff. Right. So, um, I'll eventually add a pin loop here. Um, so I'll add a pin loop and this is the one that will sit on my, like in my planner desk area. It is like, because this, the cover is sturdy enough, I can actually just kind of open it up like this. And just set it up so it can sit um, like that um, or I could buy a stand for it and just use the stand but it's going to be in my space as a weekly reference um, I will write my events on the side and here are like any of the big tasks like mostly household stuff but also like any big tasks of things that I like haven't finished last week will end up moving over here and and so I'll kind of talk to you how about how that works in tandem with some of the other stuff that I've got for my personal setup um, and so this is my weekly setup again it's just going to be sitting up on my in my personal like desk area um i do if i need to i do have plans to take this out of the house like if i am going to a doctor's appointment i can go ahead and jot those things in here um and use that right so that is the first part of the personal planner gotta find a place to put that now these two kind of go together really let me move this over here now that i've moved these All right um and so one of the things that happened is that um in june this this was one of the very first planners that i set up um and in june i decided to as part of the summer release was it summer it's the spring release the when the 18 month planners get released the july start 18 month planners get released i again like to go in and assess my planner system and make decisions for like what i want to do what planners i want to purchase that kind of thing and so this planner ended up being one of the ones that I set up then for July 2022 all the way through December 2023. And so I actually um, pulled out all of the 2022 sections uh, just because that was actually a completely different system. And then I did in that video, and again, I'll try to remember to link this specific video, but in that specific video, I set up my 2023 section, which is like a whole completely different system than like the July to December 2022 port. Like, so the first six months, completely different system and then like starting in January I set up a system and so what I ended up doing um for that setup was pulling a set of dividers right and you can see here like I do have a monthly spread in here and again I may or may not use this I don't really know but I, I think I mentioned I mean I mentioned here that these are just the weekly pages that will be sitting like propped up on my desk here I can like have the monthly pages um and so in this system I have enough dividers basically to get me through all of December, but they are like outdated. So I would have to redate this. I haven't done that yet because I'm not really sure if I want to use the monthly. Again, I use my Google calendar for this, but it's also, you know, sometimes nice just to be able to kind of like get in here and like write them out on like a long, like a bigger overview. Um, but again, I think it will just be functional. I'm just going to keep it pen to paper for my personal planner. So like, do I really need to do that if I'm not decorating in it? I don't really know. So these pages are in here um, and then what I have are these tool pages now these tool pages are like letter size like they were at eight and a half by 11 and I ended up cutting them down so that way they would fit classic size pages and I talk about that in like the video where I set this up so I'll definitely try to remember to link it so that way you can watch that if you're interested and I have enough pages to basically cover me for the entire year now what I have in here is pretty much just the setup for like probably like two months worth of pages but it is a page or sorry, a day on two pages. So this is like meant to be one day and then you go into January 2nd, that kind of thing. And this is where I'm going to put all the things. So uh, this is where I can write all the things that I want to in here. Now, I set this up 
a long time ago, like in June of 2022. Um, and my goal initially was to be able to use these pages and like, you know, have it for the entire year. Um, and so again, like here is February, just kind of like showing it to you so you can kind of see, right, March, and I have the monthly spread in here. And this was meant to be the monthly and daily setup, and this right over here was meant to be the weekly setup. And I still will keep all of that, right? And so these pages have a monthly, and then it has the divider, monthly divider. Okay, I won't flip through the rest of it. You, you kind of get the idea, right? So it's set up all the way, like I said, all the way in, through December of 2023. Um, and again, the monthly is outdated, but I may or may not use it. Honestly, I'd, I'm not really sure if I'm even going to use it. But after setting that up um, and moving into like basically September, October, November, like I, it was October of 2022, several months after I set this planner up with the classic size, like cut down sheets of paper, I ended up like cleaning out my big happy planner stuff and found like all of these pages. And I'm going to go sh go ahead and show you like starting right here because this is where it starts. I cannot believe I flipped straight to it, but like this is, I flipped straight to it. Um, and so these pages are also tool letter size pages. Let me zoom out just a tiny bit so you can kind of see all of it in screen, um, in frame. Um, and so these are tool letter size pages, but these are like one page per day. All right, so it's like, you can see here, it's like January, 2021, which is like super old. Oh, like this is an extra page. Okay, so like it's actually January, 2020. Right, and I have been using these for personal planning. Um, I mean, I've, I tried it, I, there was a part in summer, I tried it like probably July or August, and then for November and December, I definitely have been using these pages. And you know, it's been working out. I think it's fine for me to be able to use it. I do want to use these pages up. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of starting January with these classic, these classic pages right here, what I'm going to do is start 2023 with these pages and try to use as many of these pages as I can. And then once I run out of these pages, then I'll switch into this system. So that is my goal, right? Here, you can see I don't have any monthly. So again, that's kind of where I'm like, do I really need the monthly? I probably don't. It's just, you know, let's just keep it to weekly and daily planning and that should work. But these pages you can see here are a day on one page for here. I just write out my big events, again, pen to paper, um, and then here, this top priorities, generally what I do is like, I will write big events that are happening in the future that don't have a time yet, or it could be like all day holidays, all day events, um, like birthdays, anniversaries, that kind of thing, or just events that I know I need to plan for that day, but don't have a time yet, um, like major tasks that I need to do, like deadlines that I have that need to happen that day, but like don't have a time, that kind of goes there. And then, of course, there's a to-do list. And then here is a notes section. So um, this is the section that's kind of been a flex space for me in, like, past months. I can put, like, food log type stuff, budget type stuff, social media type stuff, because those are really the, the only areas that I would need, like, space for. But I'm also able to kind of, like maybe document in here some of those things. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this space for. It could be just budget. I think it might just be budget. It might not be. It could just change day to day. Because, I mean, some days I do social media stuff and budget stuff and food log stuff. Some days I don't. Do I really even need a food log? There's there's lots of things that I'm still kind of working out. But um, I'm going to just dive right in and just focus on using this for all of those things. For personal, catch-all, all the things, home life, all the things like that are non-work related, all the things for Sophia and the baby, all the things for like food logging, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, budgeting, social media, all that stuff will end up here. Okay. And so I just, all I need to do is basically take out like, like take out all the information that's incorrect and use that. And so I do have set up in here, um, basically enough pages to go all the way through, let's see, May 31st. And then I put a tab in here just because, you know, I just need to be able to mark this and like make note to myself that I do have like June pages in here, but like right at the end of June, and this is how I know that I definitely used it in June, like June, starting June 9th, I must have like started using it. So I don't have June 9th pages, but I do have September pages. And so I started putting September pages in here. You can see these are like super old notes that I need to go in and kind of wait out. But these pages I ended up like in September not using. And so I put them in here. And the numbers, the numbers here, 
like do flow, right? So it goes from June 8th to September 9th, but it's 8 and 9, 10, 11. And I did set it up like that. And I think these, the rest of these are like September pages, right? And I have enough to basically get through like September 30th or like June 30th, okay? And so I do have enough for that. And then like this last little section here, um, I put in here to kind of start tracking like Ju July 2023 stuff because I don't have enough pages to like go ahead and just write directly on the page like any future events and so I've already started again like marking out some of the major events here um, for like July 2023 to December 2023 and then I have just like a random kind of like mix of pages here now right here at like this would be like July, right? So July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. And it says October 10th, but like this page is like totally written on. So I definitely can't use that. But like um, I'd have to go through in here and just kind of assess like which of these pages I can even use. Like this is obviously a blank page. I can definitely use that. Um, but I'm going to start running out of pages basically in July. And so in July, that is when this baby will come into play and I'll start using these pages. All right, and um, here, what I'm planning to do again is just log like major events, any major tasks that I complete on the daily schedule. Um, I have enough room because this is like a day on two pages to be able to maybe split it up and have like a more detailed food log, which I may or may not do in 2023, still deciding on that one. But then I might be able to have a section for like, like social media, food log, budget. And those are the three major sections that are not like things that fall directly in there um, in my personal catch-all and then I could have like another section for task list so I might like just kind of like make it into columns but I also might just like use this section for like free space like journaling creativity that kind of thing um, so yeah who knows right um, that July I feel like is a long way away um, and I might not do this now one of the things that I can do because I have like these big size pages and these pages is I can mix it up. So one of the things, again, like trying to be consistent, but also like giving myself the flexibility to be able to do whatever I want to um, when like depending on my need um, is I could like flip flop. So I could like use a couple of these pages and then go in here and use a couple of these pages and the pages that I don't use from here. I just move back here to be able to kind of like build up like a, a new month um, and just kind of like save unused pages for like future months uh, and again I just white it out so you, I really just need the giant number in the corner to tell me like what's happening. I did also for my personal planner start printing out like the same like these labels right here. I did start printing out labels so I can like plop in a label if I really needed to like I could just like completely like get rid of the entire thing and I don't even need the number one I could just like white out the entire thing and just put that with like I mean I know which month it is like I for my personal planning I pretty much don't plan that far in advance um to where I would need the months but I think I will I think I will go in and at least add tabs though to kind of break it up so that way I'll be able to keep up with it but like in these beginning sections they are like the correct months right so it goes January February March April May the, on the only change here is like this June section so I put a June tab just so I will know that these are all meant for June and of course July all right so yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. Again, I know that was a very long kind of talk through of it, but basically I have these big tool size pages that are in here. I'm going to start here for 2023. If I change my mind and want to switch it up and use some of the classic size pages, I also have classic size pages, but they are both daily pages from tool. These I cut down to classic size. Those in here I left as letter size and that will be my daily functional planning what I plan to do with like any task lists that like tend to like after like two or three days if I'm like I'm just continuing to carry this forward I don't want to be able to like complete it or like I don't need to complete it like right away what I'm going to do is move it in here and just kind of track it here so that way I, I can see at a larger level like at the weekly level that these are things that I need to do um but I will use this to be able to track those like big events and um, big tasks that I have and to get into the nitty gritty of them in my personal planner. And if I don't finish them in my personal planner, they come back on here into my weekly view. And then here is just like all the tasks. I'll be writing all the tasks here. And this one is the one that I'll use on a, like a regular basis. It'll just be propped up on my desk to be looked at like every day. Um, and so, yeah, that is my personal planner set up weekly pages and daily pages. So yeah, I feel like it was very rambly, but I think it made sense. It's kind of been the system that I've been using for, 
I mean, I guess now like two or three years. And so it has worked for me to be a functional planner. Um, I mentioned multiple times that, you know, pen to paper, but you know, sometimes it's kind of fun to decorate too. So I may or may not like get in here and decorate some of these pages. Who knows? You know, who knows if I even have time for all that. But this is the setup for 2023. Again, this is always a work in progress. I am always subject to change. I don't have to stick to the system if I don't want to. They're all like outdated pages and so it's not something that I have to stick to. I am totally fine like even with like these pages that I've redated like pulling it out and saying hey even though I've redated it I can just like reuse it again in the future and I'm totally fine with that. Um, and so that's kind of where we are with my personal setup. Um, I think of the videos this will be the longest one just because I feel like my personal planning kind of fluctuates the most um, across each month but I will have a full on like January setup for all of my planners and so like there will be I think like a full review of like the entire 2023 lineup but then also every month I love being able to post like and talk about like how things have changed month by month in my planning system so those videos will definitely be coming up at some point in the next you know I don't know, before January, I'm assuming. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.